Hi there. Now, in this video, I want to introduce you to integration by substitution. As I've got here, integration by substitution may be an option when an integral is non-standard and other methods are not possible or difficult. And here I've got a typical example where to integrate x times all of 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4, I could opt to expand the bracket, but that's going to be quite lengthy. And then I've got to multiply through by x. And then that's going to mean I've got to integrate lots and lots of terms. Well, we can use a method called integration by substitution for something like this. We use this method here. That is the integral of some function of x with respect to x is equal to the integral of f of x multiplied with dx by du and then integrated with respect to u. It's as if these two du's cancel out, just leaving me with the dx that we've got here. Now some people call this change of variable rather than integration by substitution purely because what we do is we change the integral from a function of x, integrating it with respect to x, to a function of u and we integrate it with respect to u. Now when you get an integral like this that's got a bracket to a power, try this. Try letting the bracket equal u. What we do is we say let u equal 3x squared minus 1. And then we differentiate this with respect to x. So we get therefore du by dx equals 6x. Now we want dx by du, not du by dx, so we use the reciprocal property. That is, dx by du is going to be exactly the same as 1 over du by dx. So in other words, 1 divided by 6x. So using the method we've got here, f of x is all of this integral here. So we've got this is equal to the integral of x times 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4. And in place of the dx now, we're replacing it with dx by du integrated with respect to u. So we've got dx by du, it's 1 over 6x. And then we just put in the du here. Now, there is another way of approaching this, and some of you might be taught to make dx the subject here. It's not a method that I generally favour, but if you do, let's say we take the dx here and we remove the du, we get dx equals 1 over 6x times du. And if we worked with this method, then what we've done here is we've taken f of x, which is x times 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4, and then in place of dx, we replace it with 1 over 6x du. So we've got 1 over 6x du there. So whether you use this method here, okay, dx du, and then put the du afterwards, or whether you make dx, if you like, the subject and put this in place of dx, you'll arrive at the same answer. So where do we go from here? Well, you'll notice that the x here cancels out with the x here. So we'll cancel those out. And what we're left with is 1 sixth of 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4. And the 1 sixth being a constant, I can bring it out the front of the integral. So we've got 1 sixth times the integral of all of 3x squared minus 1 to the power 4. And that's integrated with respect to u. Now, because we're integrating with respect to u, we can't have any x's in the integral. We've got to change this all in terms of u. But we know that u is 3x squared minus 1. So what we can say is that this is equal to 1 sixth the integral of u to the power 4. And then that would be integrated 
with respect to u. So what we've done here is by this substitution, we've actually changed the variable from x's all the way to u's, hence the name change of variable. And now this becomes a standard integral. Integrating u to the power 4 is just going to be u to the power 5 over 5. So you've got 1 sixth then multiplied by u to the power 5 over 5 and then not forgetting the constant of integration which I'll call plus c. Now 1 sixth times the fifth here is going to give us 1 thirtieth and so what we've got is 1 thirtieth times u to the power 5. u is 3x squared minus 1 so we've got 3x squared minus 1 and that's now all to the power 5 and then plus c and there's integration by substitution for you. Now it's going to vary from one question to another the type of substitution that you can use and I'll demonstrate this in later videos okay but for now basically that is the method. Let u equal something work out what du by dx is generally in terms of x figure out what dx by du is by doing the reciprocal and then you can substitute it into here or you can use this what I call a dirtier method which is to make dx if you like the subject and then just substitute for the dx in this part here it will still come to the same result okay well hope that's been of some value to you and uh, do take a look please at the other videos in this series because there are slight changes on the kinds of substitutions that we use.